Hello everyone, in this video we're going to be solving a nice functional equation. I guess we could call this a homemade functional equation. There are two types of functional equations as far as I know, generally. Uh, this is the easier type because you only have a single variable. Most functional equations, the ones that appear on math competitions, most of the time they have two or more variables. Like you have x and y in the equation in different places. And that kind of gives you more freedom, okay? More degrees of freedom, because you can manipulate. In this case, a uh, solution can be fairly simple. So let's see how we can solve it. So first of all, one thing that I want you to notice that this is a special type of function. In order for this functional equation to work nicely, we do need this requirement. And that is, if you think of this as a function like g of x, Let's say g of x is equal to 2x over x minus 2. And if you look at g inverse, the inverse of g, that'll be 2x over x minus 2, which means it's the same thing. What does that mean? It means if you compose g with itself, you're going to be composing g with its inverse, and that should give you the identity function. Whatever you call it. You can call it i, you can... You know, you know, with matrices, we usually use the uppercase I. But if you wanted to put the X in here, then you can kind of uh, call this just X. Make sense? And of course, this is right inverse as well as the left inverse. So let's see how we can use this information. So to keep a long story short, we're going to do the following. We're going to replace X with G of X. Make sense? So that's going to give us F of G of X which is actually the identity. So we're going to see that in practice. So let's do that. X replaced with 2X over X minus 2. Of course, you have to do it everywhere. So now we're going to have F of 2X, which is 2 times this, divided by this minus 2. Okay? And then on the right-hand side, we have, oops, that's not an equal sign. That's a minus sign, minus x times f of x, so x times, oops, x was replaced with this, so x will be replaced with this, times f of x, which is f of 2x over x minus 2. So we replace x with this everywhere, not on the right-hand side yet because I don't have room, but I'll do that next. Let's go to simplify the inside the parentheses here. So we're going to have 4x over x minus 2 here. And in the denominator, this is a complex fraction, 2x minus 2x plus 4 divided by x minus 2. That's going to be f of the whole thing. And then minus 2x over x minus 2 times f of 2x over x minus 2. And that's equal to x squared, but that'll be 2x over x minus 2 squared. Make sense? We replaced x with this. Now, if you simplify this, flip and multiply, 2x cancels out, 4 cancels out, and you end up with x. We already knew that, right? By knowing that these functions, in this function's inverse is itself, you can compose f with itself, and then you get, or g, I mean, then you'll get the identity, okay? So now we got f of x from here, minus 2x over, uh, oops, x minus 2, times f of 2x over x minus 2 equals 2x over x minus 2 quantity squared. So that's a new equation that we obtained from the first one, but we still have the first one, don't we? So let's go ahead and copy that here and see what we can do with these two equations. Two equations is good because we have two unknowns, even though we have a single variable, f of x in this case, and f of 2x over x minus 2 are both variables. By the way, notice we're not solving for x, we're solving for f of x. Now, what can you do? This is a system of equations. And we want to solve for f of x, so why not me just get rid of this expression right here? Okay? And to be able to do that, we're going to go ahead and do the following. Multiply the second equation by the coefficient, the opposite of the coefficient of f of 2x over x minus 2. In other words, we're going to multiply the second equation by this. So let's do that. We're going to multiply 
by 2x over x minus 2, but that's the whole thing, okay? And let's go ahead and write the resulting equations. We're going to get 2x over x minus 2 times f of 2x over x minus 2 minus x times 2x over x minus 2. So I'm just going to write it as 2x squared over x minus 2 multiplied by f of x. And on the right-hand side, we're going to multiply x squared by this. So 2x cubed over x minus 2. So far, so good. Let's just copy the first equation right here. So we're going to get f of x minus 2x over x minus 2 times f of 2x over x minus 2. I'll probably move this to the left a little bit. So let's do that so that we can kind of line up the uh, equal sign and bring it closer to this so you can see that will cancel out. And this would become, this would become the top one. So it's going to be 2x over x minus 2 squared. We can later on square the numerator and denominator separately, okay? No big deal. Now we're going to go ahead and add these two equations because notice that these two are opposites and they're just going to, boom, cancel out. And we end up with f of x minus 2x squared over x minus 2 times f of x equals 2x cubed over x minus 2. And now is a, probably a good time to square this for x squared over x minus 2 quantity squared because I'm going to make a common denominator to make it look a little simpler. All right, now we have f of x here and f of x here. So let's go ahead and factor out f of x. And we're going to get 1 minus... 2x squared over x minus 2 equals, now to be able to add these, we're going to multiply by x minus 2. So this will be 2x cubed times x minus 2 plus 4x squared divided by x minus 2 quantity squared. Nice. Let's go ahead and simplify this one as well. So f of x times x minus 2 minus 2x squared over x minus 2. And then on the right hand side, we can combine these. This is 2x to the fourth, and then minus 2x cubed, 4, 4 x cubed, I mean, 2 times 2, plus 4x squared, and divided by this one. And don't expand it because this is going to simplify. Now, obviously, we're going to flip and multiply to divide by this. So f of x is going to be 2x to the fourth minus 4x cubed plus 4x squared divided by x minus 2 quantity squared times the reciprocal, which is x minus 2 over x. And if you want to write this in standard form, that's fine. Usually, you usually write, like to do that. Negative 2x squared plus x minus 2, even though it doesn't look that good, it's okay. Now, we can go ahead and simplify this a little bit. Of course, x should not be 2 in this case, right? And it's not going to be anyways because it's undefined. Now, we get the solution. Now, you can do a couple different things here. If you want, you can write it like this. That will be the solution, by the way. And if you want to check it out, go ahead and plug it in. I don't think you're going to do that because that's too, too time consuming. But we can go ahead and distribute it if you want. And that'll give us the same thing, but it's going to look a little different. Okay? But that's pretty much it. I hope you enjoyed it because this brings us to the end of this video. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you next time with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and bye-bye.